Coca. Chocolate. Cacao. Así es. Es el árbol de cacao. This is the cacao tree. You guys probably call it cocoa. Yeah. For some reason that got changed around a while back and they changed the A's to O's. But it's originally called the cacao tree and that is native to the Americas. It, uh, it's said to have come from Venezuela. But it was used all over Mesoamerica before the arrival of the Spaniards. It's a very important plant to them. They used to use the seeds of the cacao as currency. That was actually the first currency here in America. So you could trade those seeds for just about anything. <laughs> El árbol de cacao se dice que proviene de Venezuela, pero en algún punto llega todo, todo Mesoamérica y era muy importante para, para los nativos de, de México. Usaban la semilla del cacao como moneda. Era la primera moneda que usamos aquí en, en América. Entonces podías intercambiar tus semillas de cacao para cualquier cosa prácticamente. Y lo usaban mucho los, los aztecas, mayormente lo usaban para una bebida. Y esa bebida era solamente para los, los reyes o para los sacerdotes. Y eso era el, el chocolate. Y eso, eh, de ahí viene el término de como agua para chocolate, que es con agua súper caliente, pues así lo preparaban con agua muy caliente y lo sacaban como una espuma y a veces le agregaban vainilla o canela o tal vez chile como para darle uh, sabor extra pues el sabor de, ese, de esa bebida era muy amargo el sabor del cacao es bastante amargo eh, de hecho eso significa chocolate, significa agua amarga entonces esto es uno de esos sabores que no se esparció instantáneamente por todo el mundo como la vainilla más bien si tomó algo de tiempo no fue hasta el siglo XVIII que eh, en algún lugar en Europa eh, consiguió una manera de mezclarlo con lo dulce y pues sacaron lo que es el chocolate y ya. Ahora sí pues el cacao lo crece muchísimo porque lo usamos mucho para el chocolate y ya no es el productor número uno de México. Eh, lo producen mayormente en África. Allá las condiciones están perfectas para este árbol. So this here cacao tree, uh, they used to use a lot of the natives for lots of uh, different recipes. One of which uh, the Aztecs used to use it for a type of drink. I bet you guys didn't know that you speak Nahuatl. The ancient language of the Mexicas, of the Aztecs. You know one word at least. They, uh, the drink they used to make is called chocolatl. Chocolatl became chocolate, became chocolate. Yes, that's a word that... Uh, has its roots in uh, the native Mexicans. So this uh, drink, they used to make it with the seed of the cacao. Uh, it, it actually means bitter water, so you can imagine what it tasted like. They make it with really hot water. Sometimes they would add vanilla or cinnamon or chili for extra flavor in there. And that was reserved only for the kings or the religious leaders, that drink. It's only for the nobility. Now, uh, chocolate or cacao in general didn't catch on right away with the arrival of the Spaniards, not like vanilla, mostly because it has a very, very bitter uh, taste. So they didn't really know what to do with it. Uh, it wasn't until the 1700s that they started making chocolate. They found a way to make the chocolate and then of course it is all over the place now. Uh, we use a lot of cacao nowadays because we use a lot of chocolate. So Mexico produces a lot, but they're not the top producer in the world. Most of the production comes from Africa, actually. They have perfect conditions for growing the cacao there.